Hey guys, welcome back. It's Naomi Sarah here and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I want to do a quick uh, summer hair growth challenge update for you guys. So it's been about a month since I've uploaded that last video. Um, kind of like starting the challenge and letting you guys know about all the things I'm going to be doing this summer to try and grow my hair as much as possible. Um, I think some of you guys to join it with me. So yeah, I'm just going to give you guys a quick update on what I've been doing, what I have not been doing as much as I want to, and things that I've implemented that I haven't mentioned in that video. Okay, so some of the things that I have been doing, um, so right after I uploaded that video, I tried to do the inversion method for the seven days. Um, I did like take pictures of the before and after of my length. I feel like it worked, but I feel like I didn't get an inch of growth. Like, realistically, I probably didn't get anything. I might have done it wrong, I'm not sure, but I'm going to try and do it again this month and see if I get better results or if I don't see any results at all. Um, another thing that I have been doing, I have been co-washing my hair midweek. I've been trying to do it every week, like on the Wednesday or Thursday sometimes. I miss. I think I missed like one week this month, but every other week I've been able to. And then after I co-wash my hair, I usually just like do two braids like this or yeah, I pretty much do that every time <laughs> and then leave my hair in the braids until um, until the weekend when I do my actual like full wash day routine. Um, another thing that I have been doing, I've been doing the regular scalp massages like every other night. Sometimes I've been doing them three times a week. Um, and I have been doing them with oil sometimes and without oil. It really depends on, well actually, to be honest, I've been trying to find an applicator bottle to put the oil on my scalp easier because I found one at the dollar store but the hole was too large so it was letting out too much oil when I was putting it on my scalp. So yeah, just been searching for an applicator bottle that, um, has the right size um and yeah I have been pretty good with wearing the protective styles through the majority of the week like today my hair is in braids uh, yesterday I had it in a similar hairstyle Monday I did wear it out but that was just because I really liked how my curls were looking that day but they will be in a protective style for the rest of the week until I do my wash day routine again on Saturday um so something that I have tried that I really like that I didn't mention in the video before was a henna gloss so I I'm actually going to upload a video for you guys showing how I made that gloss because I did film it but I just haven't um, I haven't edited it and I haven't uploaded it yet so I'm going to get on that and do that for you guys and I'll show you like some results on the first time that I did it and how great my hair was looking and I am definitely going to continue doing this you know like three weeks yeah for the three wash days out of four in a month and I think I'm going to try doing a henna mask for one month um one wash day out of the month I'm going to try doing a henna gloss henna mask sorry so yeah that's one of the things that I want to try another thing I want to try is doing a tea rinse um I watched a lot of Curly Proverbs and she has a lot of these great recipes on how she strengthened her hair and how she grew it and you know she pretty much used the henna mask, the henna gloss and the tea rinse and that did wonders for her hair. So I am going to try and implement that in my regiment as well. And um, so overall I feel like this challenge has been beneficial for this past month. You know like I have noticed that my hair is getting a bit thicker my curls are more defined they're looking healthier and like they're absorbing and holding more water as well more moisture and I feel like if I continue doing this you know for the rest of the summer and making it a permanent routine that my hair will definitely grow a lot longer than it has been growing before because I feel like before my hair was growing but it was like shedding and breaking as fast as it was growing so I wasn't really seeing any length retention so right now I, I can definitely see that 
I am getting length retention. I don't have as much shedding. Um, yeah, I think it's going well so far. So, uh, leave a comment below, guys, if you guys are still doing this challenge with me and how you're finding it so far. Um, let me know if there's anything that you guys do that I haven't mentioned that really helps and benefits your hair as well. I'd love to know so I could try it out and see if it works for me as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Oh wait, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, I recently reached 100 subscribers. I kind of didn't want to announce it until I had, you know, like a bit more over 100 because my subscriptions fluctuate a lot. So now it's safely over 100. So I want to thank you guys for joining me and um, subscribing and watching my videos and watching my journey. I'm still kind of getting comfortable with making videos, but it's getting a lot better and I really enjoy this and I enjoy interacting with all of you. So yeah, I really appreciate every single one of you. And thank you. Thanks for subscribing. So that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.